that that day it's like everything just clicked and it was bam bam plates bowls cups all of them and I didn't I don't even recall having really big any big mishaps so you have your good days and you have your bad days and that was one of my wonderful days It's Lisa with TNL Pottery. I'm going to attempt today to do plates, four plates, the same size. Um, I haven't had a successful plate yet, but I would like to attempt that. Enjoy watching me try.
On these plates, I am trying out the, I think it's called Nishima technique. I could have that pronounced wrong. Um, it's where on the leather hard clay, you cover it in the wax resist. And then you carve the design that you want to make into the wax. So you're peeling off the wax. And then after that, you put the underglaze in the grooves, paint it in there, wipe the excess away that's off of the wax. So that's what I'm doing with these four plates. I finished my plates and I'm very excited about them. They all stack nice and neat together. And this is how they came out. I did the Mishima for the black, the, the design itself, but then I went back over it with stroking coat um, after I bisque fired it. And then I put Norse blue. And I was on such a roll that day. Not only did I make the four plates. I made four stacking bowls. Yes, this one's a little different because it was my test one. And I made four cups. That's two of them. And there's the other two. So I am very excited about how they came out. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I did learn some stuff from this. Um, one of the things I learned is the Mishima mm, for this particular thing that I did with the stroke and coats all through it. Not really something that I needed to do. I mean, it did help with giving it a nice little carved feel to it, but I went back and put stroke and coat in inside the lines. So, okay, the stroke and coat tends to run more on cone six, especially for some reason the black. Probably because stroke and coat could actually go anywhere between cone oh five to cone 10 depending on the temperature depends on how it comes out but i am very excited about my plate set it is for sale uh you can visit my uh site on facebook and hopefully i'll be getting on etsy anytime sometime soon so i am very proud of my accomplishments because that that day is like everything just clicked and it was bam bam plates bowls cups all of them and i didn't i don't even recall having really big any big mishaps so you have your good days and you have your bad days and that was one of my wonderful days have a good week everybody The stroking coat tends to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, run.